Welcome back. Shut up and jam. Dante and Craig with you today. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on with Mello, Craig? Is this it? Um, I Are don't him know. Him and the Knicks finally <laughs> calling quits. I don't know if that Mac is going to return to the Knicks. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, you're in store for some good jokes after that. Uh, yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Waka Waka. That's a keeper. That'd probably hurt your funny bone. It's an attraction. Funny bone. Uh, yeah, so. There's a lot of... Start off on the right foot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a lot of brouhaha. Yeah. About uh, Mello. We're in the Phil world Jackson. of Carmelo Anthony. Yeah. Wherever Carmen San Diego might be. Obviously, uh, Phil Jackson today, yeah, you Phil's, know, he had some strong comments for Phil's Mello. being his usual cunty self. <laughs> yeah, the triangle, man. Yeah. It's all that's about the true. triangle. Never mind. That's true. The triangle. <laughs> hey, I didn't <laughs> win. Was it 11 rings or was that yeah. Bill Bill Russell? I think it was 11. So he can do right. anything. It was six with Mike, because five I wanted to be like, and then five with the Cubster, yeah. But wait, three you know, of those five with Shaq. He had to have, but he won or four won by himself, or not by himself, but as a player too, correct? Phil, yeah. Oh, that's true. He did win one. Next, so as he has. A player. He can't have twelve, can he? Maybe he does. One as a player, eleven as a coach. <clears throat> that's crazy. You're not gonna get the Bill facts Russell here. had like thirteen. This is all speculation. Yeah. The, the, how many did Grandmama have though? The Grandmama. I don't think he ever got one. Or he? the microwave. The microwave. <laughs> I don't yeah. think he got one either. That sucks, man. Didn't the Bad Boys never win one? Or did they? Win what? A title. Oh, the Bad Boys. Yeah, they yeah. had two. Well, there was the first year that was like the Bad Boys, and then what was that dude with the no the mutton chops was it like Rick Mahorn got traded oh, <laughs> so it wasn't Mahorn. the bad boys anymore it wasn't like the uh, original guys anymore yeah. but they called them the bad boys was Ill Bill Lame Beer still there <clears throat> yeah oh my god yeah. the most no, hated they, man they, I think they did win one or maybe two oh they won two yeah. two because I want to say they won 90 they're in like 90. 91 92 I think yeah that's when George still had hair yeah, and, and they had the did. Jordan rules. And it, he was like, basically almost, not quite as ridiculous, but almost like Westbrook, where it was like, I'm going to shoot like every time down the fucking court. Yeah. <laughs> or or dish it to <laughs> Rick trying. Mahorn. Okay. Uh, Rick, I hope not. He's on the other team. <laughs> He's a bench warmer. Um, yeah, so Mello. What? We're talking to Carmelo Anthony. What's going on? Yeah, Phil Jackson uh-huh. just gave the strongest indication yet that the Knicks will trade Carmelo Anthony before the 2017-18 season. So probably yeah. sometime in the offseason, in the summer. I think it's a lot of this is going to be uh, you know, determined on what happens with a few teams. We'll get to that. But it's uh, you know, nothing is certain, especially yeah. with the playoffs just started. Okay, yeah, Anthony, it's going to take a while to get this result. <clears throat> yeah, and it'd be I, I, he's not going to just do anything all willy nilly. I think he's going to take his time. I mean, it's he's it's been this long. Yeah. Anthony has been the subject of trade rumors for a while, but Jackson basically showed him the door Friday, telling reporters on about the forward, uh, we or he'd be better off somewhere else as the Knicks yeah. close the book on their fourth oh, consecutive. Surprise losing season so that's fine i mean we're we're sacramento kings fans yeah we know all about losing yeah we're not we're not bad yeah uh, <laughs> but but this is you, you know really probably so the blunt. I mean, biggest I can, market in the world you know so like blunt. yeah yeah I, that's just you, i don't know i can't think of a time when i've heard it put quite in that way just uh, well, he's, he'd be better off somewhere else oh, I, wow i heard another okay. story that ju- it was like just last month or maybe this month um you know, they had the game and they were losing and fucking Mello just like exploded on Hornsack. Oh, I heard something. And about they that. kept saying it's an R rated discussion. It's R rated it's just oh, like please. Y- yeah. You mean they were just screaming, like they were just saying fuck to each other? Yeah. Yeah. They were just angry. Um yeah. yeah. Poor Zingus isn't even like they had at the end of the season. I think we were talking about it. Yeah. Um, oh, the exit interviews. Yeah. And he's like fuck this. To show yeah. He didn't approve of the dysfunction. I don't, I kind of, it's kind of douchey of him to do that, but I don't blame him, because they are being dysfunctional. And Phil, I mean, maybe he should trade him or whatever, but that's not a good way to operate. It's a bad look for a GM to just say they're that. Already, they're already fucked. All right, yeah. let, me, let me finish this. Uh, Jackson said, we've not been able to win with Mello on the court at this time. 
That's not Mello's fault. I'm <laughs> sorry. I, I don't like Mello either. I mean, he's a good player, but yeah, I don't I know. I'm, That's not a good way. This to is say strange that. that I'm actually like defending. I know him. it's weird. Um, okay, you I said don't like either of them. <laughs> yeah, they're kind of both dicks. The guru, and then I mean, I Mello. At the end of the day, he took more money to. He, you could either win or take more money. You know. Oh. The, the, he has. He had plenty yeah. of other options. And he decided money. Yeah. Uh, Phil said, "I think the direction with our team is that he's a player that would be better off somewhere else." And using his talent somewhere where he can win or chase that championship. So not wow. here. And that's kind of... So that's just oh, saying wow. we're just going to work done, right? Yeah. And it's also kind of a, a like challenge, like a man-to-man thing of like... Oh, you can't win? Or we well, can't win with well, you? Also, no, it's like uh, you want... It's kind of like calling the bluff. It's like, oh, you want you want championship, right? Well, then go to a championship contender. Don't you oh, want that? Oh, yeah. Because Carmel is saying. like, um, yeah, I, I want a title. That's yes, what you've yes. been telling us. Yeah, yeah. It's like putting Colin his bluff. That's ridiculous. The guru. Yeah, the guru. Anthony has been one of the NBA's premier scorers since leaving the Nuggets, or since the Nuggets drafted him third overall in 2003. Man, that wow. Long. The Knicks haven't made the playoffs oh, you got to talk about the banana boat crew. <laughs> <laughs> that could be his chance to win the title. Uh, who are those guys again? Is, is that the, the Cavs? Boat crew? The Banana Boat Crew. Was, uh, I know it's Darren Smith, right? It's Chris Paul, uh, <laughs> LeBron James, Dwayne Wade, and uh, who are we just talking Smith, about? Smith, right? Jared Smith? Or that we were just oh, Mello. Uh, Mello. Yeah, Mello. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the Banana it Boat Crew? Because it, it was a year, picture of It was one of like the on early yacht, right? years of like, Twitter, if I remember. Well, like they were Speedos ago. or something? And it was just a picture of them, all four of them, like, on one of those little inflatable <laughs> boat things, like, that you straddle it. Yeah. And it's like a yellow thing. It looks like a fucking banana. And they're all sitting on it, like, chest to back. Like, sitting up. You gotta like, do a... Cheese in the camera You gotta do a snip hard. snip in this part right here. Oh, uh, yeah. I um, do. The banana boat. I believe that's the four. <laughs> I'll find out. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so good. The Knicks haven't made the playoffs since 2012, though, which is especially troubling given the New York expected to return or expected a return postseason this year. And they were no good after adding Derrick Rose and Joe Kim Noah. Let's just say it right now: Derrick yeah. Rose is done, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. He, uh, he's he's looking he he's do, looking but. for another. I mean, he's he's incredibly injury prone. He, yeah. This was his year to shine. He wasn't going to stay on the Knicks. No. This was like a contract. You yeah. Know, or like a... They gave him some good mm-hmm. money, but it was, yeah, like to prove. Yeah. But... Who's going to pay him if he's no. coming back from his, like... I, this is, it has to be his fourth or oh, fifth. That's right. I I kind of almost forgot that he had that recent injury again. Yeah. I mean, he was... To me, I thought like... Has he been 100% since he got injured? It was a dumb, originally? dumb signing even when they got him. Yeah, like before this injury... He wasn't even back. Well, no, I He's think. never going to be back to his... Like, we knew, like, two years ago that he's never going to be back to what he once was. And yeah. everybody still kind of treated him with the money they offered him. And stuff Rookie and of the year. Or, excuse me, MVP, thought. Derek Rose. Yeah. Right. Uh, and then Joe Kim Noah has probably one of the worst contracts yeah. there is out there. That one I knew, like, right away, too. Like, I think most people did. What were they Not thinking? Good. We're just going to go and get these players, and it doesn't really matter, like, the culture that we have. Right. It's well, and like, both those guys, there was no secret about their injuries. I remember hearing about about Noah before they signed him that it was like, yeah, Noah is back from his injury, but it's like, he might be, like, done. I heard people saying that before the year started, like... Before this year he, started? Before this year. And now he's out for, like, they four were like, six he months or is, something. Injuries caught up to him. He's he has like an old body and old knees and stuff, and he's can barely move. And he never stretches you know. before a game. Yeah. <laughs> oh really? Does I don't he? know. But he shoots that fucking fucked up shot. What a douchebag for shooting like that. I hate the way he shoots. Uh, Anthony, who turns thirty two in May, is set to make more than twenty six million next season. After which he could opt out of his contract if he buys yeah. it. He also uh, owns a no-trade clause, although sources say earlier this week that Anthony was leaning strongly towards waiving it well, if the yeah. Knicks presented him with the right destination. <laughs> That's Anthony, all it is. That's all no-trade clause is. It's like I get to veto any trade. So yeah, I get, you basically have to trade with someone take a I want to go to. Yeah. yeah. 
Anthony, a uh, 10-time All-Star, is coming off a season in which he averaged 22 points, six boards per game, and the Knicks finished with a 31 and 51 record, which is Sacramento a Sacramento Kings. Kings record. We won 32, baby. We did better. <laughs> Knicks, get your game up. And we didn't spend, like, billions of dollars in free agency <laughs> like that. Uh, so now that we know, you know, the story, obviously, it's, this is the end. My only friend. Of, of the, the Carmelo Knicks. Marriage. Yeah, it seems like it's going to be. I so. Uh, I was going to, you know, bring up <clears throat> the playoffs. That's, it's going to be. The a, what? The playoffs. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> playoffs? <laughs> yeah, playoffs. Practice? Jim Mora in the house? Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's. Uh, Which we already did a comprehensive breakdown of the of said playoffs. Put gold, yeah. man, baby. Yeah, go check out that episode. <sighs> Was it your money, baby? I'm just, yeah, Vince Get these on. claws. Oh my god. Swingers. Great movie. Okay, so uh, from what I've been able to tell, or, you know, to everything that I've uh, read, the, the two teams that I think Mello would be really interested in going to. Yeah. Two C's. The Clippers and the Celtics. Cunts? They're not cunts. Oh. See, like, the first letter of their team. Uh, obviously, he wants to go to a contender, like, post-haste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Postmaster General. <laughs> he does. And um, both of these teams... I mean, I think he does. <clears throat> both these teams are going to be getting... Yeah, who knows? I mean, yeah. uh, this is all speculation, obviously. Yeah. I mean, wait... You're not going to hear that on Pharrell on the bench. Yeah, exactly. All right, Shout guys, so, Pharrell. like, somebody just gave me this piece of paper with everything I'm going to say on it, yeah. so, like, all right, hockey, oh, man, yeah. it's crazy. Playoffs are yeah. crazy, aren't they? That what? goalie is so freaking good. He yeah. just picks out whatever team's the best that won by five that night and goes, man, their goal scorers are really good. Yeah, name like, one yeah. person on, on the, the Penguins that isn't. Sidney Crosby. All right, so like you Santa. know, yeah. Mario Lemieux, <laughs> all on the bench. Um, show. Okay, excuse me. Um, I farted. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so yeah, the Clippers are. Oh yeah. I think they're going to be like we were saying our, our definitive playoffs show. Yeah. The clip show, uh, the Lob City is going to be done soon. Yeah, they're not obviously not unless going to they this get year. some some talent. You know, yeah. they're the, yeah, but this this season is going to be lost. This they just don't done. know it yet. Yeah, but you know that happens. They want the big guns. Yeah. Doc might be leaving soon. Let's get fucking yeah. mellow and make everybody might be stay. To, but this is yeah. that's hindered on Chris Paul staying and a number I of other variables. They you know, would like, come fully apart after this year, or possibly at the deadline, but not really just after this year. Yeah. But now I actually really think there's a legit chance that they do, like you said, try and bring everybody back one more time, add a little bit more talent, and say, we're going to give this, like, one more go. Yeah. And that would have to be, like, a big fish like Carmelo, which is very realistic. Yeah. The, the only thing is, like, what I was, I've been thinking about this since the deadline. Like, what would they give for him? You know, uh, they, Reddit they don't, some other they, guys. And then... That's, like, the only thing that makes sense is it maybe be, like, maybe Redick, Jamal Crawford, yeah. and, some, and some, like, maybe a pick or something like that. <laughs> That'd be nutty if they had to give up Austin like, Rivers. Even though, yeah, actually, that's what some people were saying. Because he's actually Rivers. pretty good. Yeah. And, yeah. But I'm, like, if you give up, I know Redick isn't, like, a star, but he's, like, part of, like, the fabric of that team. Too. Yeah. He's part of what, like, makes the motor. And he's, out. like, a blue-collar player, too. Yeah. Like he's, he plays, he plays hard. He's and a great he's a shooter. real good three-point shooter. Yeah. And you take that out, I think you go from Clippers, you never... I never hear that three-point shooting is like a weakness. It's probably not really a strength. But I think it's like held up mostly by that guy. I mean, you know, Chris Paul shoots some. I think Rivers actually made like a bunch this year. But Blake can shoot him too. But Yeah, and Blake will hit some, yeah. and But like Redick, to me, all of a sudden, if they do lose him, even for Carmelo... They're kind of a weak three point shooting team at that point. Yeah. Even though Melo can shoot them too, but but that you just, just don't have like that like that wing that can bust threes off, if and it, like a for, forward that can bust threes. If so it right. happens, that sounds like somebody you'd pick up halfway through the season. That just yeah. like 
a mystery player, you know? He's probably a veteran. Yeah. Uh, after or right before the trade deadline, and they yeah. just and they just pick up somebody or somebody goes on It'd waivers or something. That's true. Oh, you and, mean in addition to yeah, out? like totally. next yeah. year, you yeah. know, this guy that we're we're saying okay, you take the away dude. Redick, yeah, yeah, and all these guys, but you have Mallow, but you still need like a shooter. Now you're kind of missing. I mean, you yeah. need a Richard Jefferson or a uh, you know who would be Der- good? Deron Williams yeah. or something, you know how or Lance Stevenson is, or something. Is, <laughs> this is a homer pick being from Sacramento, but uh, Anthony Tolliver. Yeah, I think would be huge on a team like that because he's like a power forward, but he's a stretch four. Like he hits threes, mm-hmm. and he could really be in that like rotation, mostly Carmelo Blake. Because you'd probably have Carmelo playing quite a bit of four, and Blake, yeah, playing some four and five, and have Tolliver as like another four that can just bust threes. But then yeah, you, they still need like another guard. I mean, they're just I don't know. Uh, another option that's a little more realistic, just based Probably on it. it. Yeah, taking a crack at it. Oh yeah, I mean it's better than blowing a it's team. Better up. than blowing it up. Yeah, I'd give it one more with Carmelo. Celtics. I mean they're they are a powerhouse. Yeah, Craig. They're a really good team. Some people say like you know pretty much as good as you can be without like a superstar. Yeah, without and having a big three. Are therefore lacking a superstar. They're a big one right now. Yeah. It was the smallest guy. That. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that being said, they have the most picks, and, you know, <clears throat> they've stockpiled all this stuff. Yeah. All these young Dude, they say players. they have their pick this year, you know, yeah, from the Yeah, top ten, right? It has the, the best chance at the number one. Really? Yeah, because it's uh, it's the Brooklyn Nets draft pick. For how many years ago? It, it was like part last of the, year? No, it was like a few years ago. It was from the Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, Jason Terry. That Remember, year, all three of them went to the Nets. And they and stuck that it up. Douchebag. That, that billionaire, sleazy Russian, Russian billionaire yeah. owner guy. That and all love to Russians out there, <laughs> except for <laughs> Prokhorov or whatever his name is. <laughs> he seriously like fucked that team. I'm not a Russian. Over. I'm from Ukraine. Yeah, he might be Ukraine. Uh, I would love to see Isaiah with somebody else, though. I mean, even if if this doesn't happen, you know, with Melo, then maybe down the line, yeah. PG goes there. PG thirteen um, yeah. maybe, that would be with Isaiah. Yeah, yeah. I mean he's a killer. Yeah, that's one of those teams that just has like a big one. You yeah, know? And you yeah. just have to put somebody else on there. Yeah, and then it's like they have to. It's like they're not going to have a good enough draft pick because they're too good to have a good draft. Pick. You're right in the middle. So you're in the middle. So you have to get like a free agent. Well, how do you lure a free agent? It's going to take a lot of money and players regularly. Pass up um, the highest bid, yeah. the highest offer they get. We'll that just look at uh, Andre Iguodala. Yeah, I mean Iguodala, he had uh, he had a chance to go Kings. to the Kings, and yeah. they pay, they were going to pay him like at least like fifteen mil more, right? Yeah, it was a lot more, and, uh, but West it was Matthews, more years, I think. Right? I think it was. Yeah, and he said, and "Fuck that! Matthews, I want to <laughs> win." I think maybe that Courtney Lee guy. And we ended up getting a follow, but those two are about the same. They're both kind of shitty now. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, the guys do that a lot. They take less money to go to a better team or a better market. Yeah, I, uh, it's, it's hard to say what's going to happen. But I hope uh, my I Spurs hope, win. I hope whatever <laughs> the, the worst outcome my is are right. happens to the Knicks. They I hope just everything are goes shitty as bad as possible. They really if are. I was like the owner and stuff, as crazy as it sounds, I would say, because like I think they should probably move on from Carmelo. Yeah. So like, if I was the owner, I'd be like, I'd talk in private to Phil and be like, "Dude, you're a fucking jackass for the shit you say to the media and about your own players." He did it as worse as fucking he could. up. People like don't want to come here because exactly. you say shit about their players. And Porzingis is now like nervous. He has to be like, "What yeah. the fuck's going on?" Like, because Melo's their call best me guy out and star trade guy. me one day. Yeah. yeah, for no reason. Yeah, if I was Porzingis, I'd, so, I'd, I'd just be biding my time. But Just pad your stats, man. But then in the public, I'd be like, well, you know, maybe he shouldn't have said as much stuff as he said, but, you know, he's the GM and we're letting him build the team. I, I would stick behind. I just believe in giving GMs a shot and not just one year or two years. That's stupid. And Phil Jackson has the greatest resume you could ever present, so I think he... And I don't like him. I don't say he deserves it because, come on, give him... I just think, how do you fire Phil Jackson? Like, unless he's really fucking the team over. (laughs) 
Oh, gee, yes. And he kind of <laughs> has. I think it's I maybe mean, a little get overblown, worse? but like Rose and Noah were like horrible contracts. Yeah, stuff, true that. So that was bad. Porzingis was a good pick. I, but think they I, I would fell say into that one. I would say trade Melo and you know we're gonna suck. Maybe get Which like a, what Phil said. a goat in a wagon or something for him. <laughs> yeah, it'll have to be kind of almost like the cousins thing, probably. I don't know. They might get more. But it's like where you don't have a lot of leverage. Just get picks. So no? you don't. Yeah, if you can get picks. Because they're gonna they're uh, they're gonna a be a young team picks. without him. Yeah. Much younger. So. Do they take a? And Porzingis and Melo don't mesh to me. In, in baseball, they do like picks with money, right? Or yeah, they'll like give you money and trades and stuff. Oh, they will trade cash or whatever. Do yeah. they do that in in any I other think sport? They've done that in other sports, like in the NFL a little bit. Huh? Yeah. I know, isn't that weird? I don't get how that works. All right. If you know how that works, I guess uh, let us know. Shut up and jam. Count it. <laughs>